Today I'm here to talk to you about particulate matter sensors, that is, uh, the measuring the dust and um, the other soot and so forth that we're finding more and more in our environment. And some of these bits of dust and so forth are actually quite harmful. They can be bits of sulfur or what have you, uh, things that are not exactly what is good for your lung health. And in the era of uh, COVID and so forth, we can fairly much guarantee that if we've got a fairly dusty environment, we're probably going to have a pretty good environment for transmitting all kinds of things, including viruses. I have two different units here. One is the PM2008. And if you see him, he has an entrance and an exit. So the air comes in, exits here. With this fellow, there's a little fan in here that induces it and it passes out on the far side here. Um, they, electrically, they both uh, um, operate from five volts, UR, I squared C, that kind of thing. Uh, this one has a handy dandy connector so you can mount this at will. Um, you know, wherever it is convenient and uh, wire it to a printed circuit board. This guy, on the other hand, he is intended for mounting to a printed circuit board so that his intake is here, his exhaust is here, and he's secured to a board, making it a nice, compact, easy-to-assemble device. Each of these devices is supplied with cables or connectors. So, for example, this guy here it happens to be a GH connector, which is a JST connector, which is a very handy connector, very durable and so forth, but uh, not exactly something that you're going to find on your grocer's shelf. Um, both of these guys operate, of course, from 5 volt, UART, that kind of thing, and um, have identical software. So there's no, you can design with either one and uh, uh, transfer your code or your application to, an, to the other. Both of them use, are done by laser scattering. That is, uh, in the air that is passing through here, a beam, uh, a beam scatters out and the size of the particles are sort of like measuring their shadows is, uh, is measured so we know how big and how many of those components there are. If uh, you take a look at the software that's there, we're actually measuring 11 different uh, parameters, but they're all derived from the size of the particle and how many of them there are. I'm communicating with both of these sensors over UART. Uh, just using a FTDI cable, a common USB to UART bridge. Um, the devices, of course, are capable of I squared C, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I have connected to it using a product called Termite. It's a very straightforward 96 baud, 8 data and a stop, and I've got a uh, a little piece that I have already oh I got to connect how about that that would be a sound move and so I'm going to connect I'm going to paste this little script I have into it and you'll see that it's going to spit out uh, it's 56 characters there's 11 fields of four characters there's some serial number information and so forth in it but it just comes back to you as a bunch of long integers and so let me go and take you to this piece of software. This is actually uh, decoded what the, was out there that we're measuring from three tenths of a micron up to 10 microns. And we're also doing some other integrals that are used for indoor air quality and other kinds of measurements for hygiene. So if I were to go in and um, wave a bit of paper at it or something of that nature, you would be seeing it me making some measurements and so I've blown a little bit of dust and a little bit of paper at it okay that's a fairly good portion of crud and you can even use just a, a lighter the soot from the lighter will even show up on this 
Now, it has two sets of measurements. One is a continuous, where it's just a hard working, making the measurements, and it does a bit of averaging. And then there's a dynamic mode that anticipates change. So it may jump further for you in uh, different, uh, different applications. And uh, in fact, you can see what transpires when we sort of, uh, uh, let's say, we cut its air. Because uh, if I go in and I block the input to the device, uh, these numbers are going to fall uh, fairly rapidly. But first, you've got to let the term integrator run out. You'll see that uh, you'll see that this occurs also in the work in the uh, continuous mode. See how quickly it changes. Okay, we've just cut off its air, and uh, immediately all the small stuff starts showing up again. It's a pretty good representation of what's going on inside that sensor. There's a wealth of information uh, further available on the gaslab.com site, uh, and do avail yourself of it. This is a really interesting way of, uh, and it is a coming thing for making these environmental measurements.